Did you see the recent um, photographs? I think they came out of Poland, and they were they were like the classic Billy Myers UFO. Yes, I did. I, you know, that's kind of it's just somebody's put the like blown the lid off that, and apparently this guy sent this guy uh, a picture of a fake UFO that he'd done himself, and said, "Look at that that I've done. Isn't that cool?" Um, I made it from this and he's rolled with it and just put it out on social media. Uh, but it just reminded me of the Billy, the Billy Meyer thing. And I started looking into it and I was thinking to myself, you know, when Billy Meyer put those, uh, fake you, because they were fake. Mm-hmm. UFOs, and when he put those out, and, and, uh, people might say, well, how can you prove that? They were fake people. They were fake UFOs. Um, the Bob Lazar UFO that he describes is the Billy Myers, the Billy Meyer UFO. Is it? See, when when he describes it, I keep seeing the um... the sports model is it, that classic Billy Uf- Myers UFO. You know the same one that Fox Mulder's yeah, got but, in the background. That yeah, but is, Billy, Billy Meyer had fucking gold things on it and all sorts didn't he there was loads of yeah Not there was loads of bling on the picture. Billy Myers wasn't there more than one what? picture yeah there's but a, didn't they all have like loads of bling a few of them did have a bit too much bling he blinged him up <laughs> I'm sure one of them even had bands and suspension but that was inspired by something you, you know well think? this is the thing yeah and it's, but what did he fake it from and a guy like in the middle of where where was he? Was he was he in um, Austria? Is he Austrian? I think he's Austrian. In the he middle of up. a hill, and he, he lived on his own, didn't Austrian. he? Miles away from anywhere, no internet then. I mean, I'd probably it, start faking UFOs as well. Yeah, people knew how to have fun when they could, when it comes to <laughs> when, it, when it comes to hoaxing. You know, doing it properly by having. One fucking arm. In, it, right, it's impossible for him to fake. He can't hold the wire and take the picture. Yeah, but he probably had a couple of wives or something. I don't know. You know, helping him out. But he did seem to be the cult type, didn't he? Yes, he definitely did. <laughs> definitely seemed to be the cult type. He's still alive, isn't he? He's still, he's still, he's still about. Is I'm he? pretty sure he's still he alive. Must be yeah. Ripe he's, he's knocking on. Uh, he must be knocking on for the doubles, like one double zero. <laughs> I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put in the edit RIP. Yeah. Um, Can you have a little tombstone pop up with his head on it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bit disrespectful? Nah. Um, it's it's, but, all, it's but, all in the name of comedy. But yeah, the the Bob Lazar thing. Do you ever question Bob Lazar's story? Yeah. Um, it, I, he's fascinating because you know what do you know what lee sorry scrap that i want to know if you believe him yes i do you do yes uh the only thing the only thing that makes me slightly squirrely about it is the uh bit where he turned around and said about them discovering them in like an archaeological dig because everything he said has been so like regimented over the years without embellishment popped up out of nowhere it just came out of nowhere, and I thought, whoa, that's fucking Stargate. What's going on here? Um, and I don't... This is in the same way as I can't help think, even him getting resurrected to go on, like... Or even, I, I can take uh, your man doing the, doing the documentary about him, but you, you don't accidentally end up on Joe Rogan. You know, it's he's he's got the biggest platform of anybody in the world, and I, I'm conv- I'm I'm sure that there's for him to carry on doing what he's doing. Uh, I I I totally believe not, maybe not even for any sort of big conspiracy reasons, but when you are a single person which has such an outreach, when you look at what has happened in the past, if if we talk about. Um, like cults and things like that. Look at a Charles Manson, for instance. When you have a person with with a huge weight, 
which had nowhere near the reach and power that a Joe Rogan has. Um, Joe Rogan could quite easily have a cult. If he, if he decided to engineer it, he could make himself that type oh, of person. Anything. Yeah. Um, I don't believe that there isn't someone that uh, knocks on your door and says, I'd like to come in and have a word with you about what you're doing and what you plan to do. And uh, just just so we're all on the same page here, you know. The, do you know the only thing that annoys me about the 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 recent interviews with Bob Lazar? It, and this is no disrespect to to Carbell, but he's he's been like Bob Lazar's mother, you know, just answering for him, you know. Yeah, he, he's he's like that really possessive mother. I don't know um, if that's his job, you know. I don't know if that is one thing he said to 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 Bob. You know what? I, if you do this for me, we'll we'll organise the interviews. I'll come on the interviews, and you know, if if you know, I feel like you, I need to step in. I'll step in. Blah blah blah. Uh, I don't know if that's been arranged or or what. But you know, he went on secure team ten. Tyler told me, you know, it it, it was it, it would have been nice just to speak to Bob Lazan, and he wasn't mm-hmm. slagging enough. Carbell at all but at the same time I wonder if Joe Rogan thinks you know what it would have been nice just to get Bob on on his own I think Lazar seems to seem to be a person with what seems to be deep rooted anxiety issues um he clearly trusts uh Corbell um and Corbell doesn't he doesn't come across as being the most trustworthy person, if I'm perfectly honest. No, but, give, but, he, but given, I think we've talked about this before. They, they, yeah. they're not a, they don't seem like a good match. No, but I, I think the thing is, I think Luke's, Luke's can be deceiving because given how Corbell has treated the Lazar story and treated Lazar himself, um, I think he's clearly done something to gain and like earn that trust. Um. On the side of him buttoning and talking a lot, I think there's three three factors here. Uh, no offense to any anybody listening listen to this, I think he is uh, deep in some sort of spectrum. You know, it's uh, there there is a chart somewhere where oh, I, I, sits I'm deep on the spectrum as well. So you slap know. bang in the middle, yeah. Um, I think he's he's. He de- he's desperate for acknowledgement. He's desperate for acknowledgement for his art and what he's doing, uh, which may- makes him even even the way he presents himself and his uh, the the way he c- he comes across and holds himself. He wants to be noticed, so he he doesn't just want to be the filmmaker. That this is the I, I did the story of this guy. I want to be part of the story at the same time. Yeah. Um, and I, but I think Bob Lazar like needs him as a crutch by the looks of it as well. There's a, there's a reason he hasn't come out and done anything that. else. And I, if it wasn't for the fact that um, that Corbell is essentially the ideal person to to be the the charismatic one of the duo, if you like, uh, I, I don't think he'd have ever come out again. I don't think you would have heard the Bob Lazar story i think he'd have just yeah. stayed you think, where you think he was Bob Bell managed to twist that arm yeah yeah and that's that's the only thing that puts me with the um uh with the excavation thing like the archaeological archaeological dig for uh, like finding these craft is i wonder if um bob purposely left it out because he felt it sounded too fantastical yeah, you know, because it, 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 if you look at it the way he he's putting the story across, I'm a scientist that was employed to do science stuff. I saw science stuff that I didn't understand. That's the Bob Lazar story. Who told him it was from a dig? I'm, I'm trying to remember who who actually actually he, told he, him. He, Did he, he say that? Was, he, he said it was mentioned to him during like well, like a debrief or something like that. Because he. The the way I, the way I rem, always remember it. I mean, I've I've been talking about Bob Lazar bef- well before he went on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did the documentary with Carbell. Um, I, I remember him when he didn't have a face and he was just a shadow. 
Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 was it, what did they call him now? It wasn't Bob Lazar, it was some gym or something. Yeah, something like that, yeah. But, yeah, he he spoke about it, and he, and he just basically said he was working on technology that, to him, seemed like it wasn't from this world. Mm. He, he he kind of didn't let on that the, they told him at uh, S4 that they were alien craft. Yeah. It was only his, I think it was his the partner that he was working with that told him this. Mm-hmm. Um, he had the assumption. See, the one thing I will say is, because he's, he's always been pretty straight about the... Um, oh, like catching a glimpse of something that was a short creature. Yeah. Do you remember, like, then he was, said, like, he said it was a like a like a reenactment. Yeah, he said a dummy or something or yeah. He but he's always said he said that he didn't know what it was. And I think if if he wanted to embellish and pepper the story up, that's probably where he could have peppered it up a little bit. You'd have thought. Yeah. I think he's, he had a said he, he looked through the window and there was an alien grey. Mm. A lot of people wouldn't have bought the story. Yeah. Yeah. He, may, yeah. he did see something else and maybe he's holding that back because he knows it's going to sound ridiculous. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I think the... Uh, uh, sorry, watched, sorry, Lee, and that could sorry. be what you've just been touching on there. That mm-hmm. could be what you just said. And th- that the archaeological dig thing, maybe it did know, didn't say anything about it held it back because he thought like you said you know it sound it sounds too out there yeah. and he let it he let that bit slip mm-hmm. it, it, that's what I, I like like you should just said uh, earlier about body language like i've watched a few body language specialists like rip that interview apart and i haven't seen one of them come out of it not believing him and I think like you, your body language, guys. You, 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 people that are really, really good at reading body language. Um, I, 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 I almost take that to the bank because I think I think you can, you can tell so much about people. And he, his interview, it's like the, the complete anti, uh, Prince Andrew interview. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Prince oh, Andrew, God. you could. Say, Every time he looked and moved his face, you could see that man was lying. Uh, like all of the things, like the look, looking up into the left, the oh, sorry, looking up into the right, is it? And um, the constantly fidget with his hands and putting his hands in the, the little wry smiles when he thought he was getting away with a lie, those sort of things. He did them all. Bob Lazar does none of the things. Cumber's a cucumber. Yeah, and it's it, it, even the the way he answers questions. He's recalling it from memory, and you know it's, I, it, it's one of those things where the, uh, the, the the cowardly answer would be would be to say I believe he believes it, but I don't believe he's crazy, and I believe he's, a, you know I believe he's what he says he is. So in that case, yeah, I I have to say yeah I have to believe him. Have you ever thought that he might have been? employed to do this to actually to 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 break the secrecy they give me an oscar then give me an oscar right now you know get get that get that man to the academy and let's but let, let's get him in some bigger roles let's let's get him some better roles well speaking of oscars do you and did you hear about matt damon matt damon no he wants to play bob lazar does he uh, well this was a while ago this is a few years back yeah. but he was obsessed with the story and he thought you know what i'd like and i can see it um, you, look at, you look at matt damon he would play a good lazar i don't know how they'd make him a a, a young lazar but mm, i think he'd I, I, a, i'd take it i'd watch it i mean i don't know where the, the you'd have to spice that up so much I, I think they need to do it. I think it'd be a, a, a film that people would want to see. Yeah. And I think they just need to call it Lazar. Yeah. Would, yeah. Yeah. Whoever's watching this now, you're welcome. By the way, I've just <laughs> given you the title of the film. It's Lazar. That's it. <laughs> no Bob Lazar. Just Lazar. Um. Yeah, I definitely watch it. Uh, I, did you believe it? 
I don't believe anybody. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I did. I, I, no, I do. I, I hate it when people say I do and I don't, but I'm going to say I do. I, I do and I don't. The same because I, I honestly have no idea. You know, if somebody's, you know, like psychopaths. Psychopaths are very, very good at this disguising shit. Yeah. You know, their emotions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What if Bob's a psychopath? He could looks, be a psychopath. He could be a psychopath. I but, think he would be more confident if he was a psychopath, though. But then I asked myself, why did he disappear for so many years? Mm. All the stuff about his like his school disappearing. Yeah. He got yeah, his, his own company. History. Yeah. He got his own company. Settled down by himself. You know, he, he back into his science stuff, back into the life that he you know that he wanted to to do. But and before that, you know, he was working on things like jet propulsion bikes. Mm-hmm. so much to that story that says you know what this guy could have worked there that this guy could have been just the person they they wanted they didn't want the guy that had the degree they wanted the guy that could do shit the maverick yeah yeah um yeah well it's it's it could be yeah that you'd want if if you were doing it now and you could get and you could get to him before this happened you'd get a musk wouldn't you you know it's yeah they're, they're, they're the people you'd have doing things like that. Um, I wonder if Elon Musk believes him. That'd be a... That, get that on. Let's get Lazar and Musk on Rogan. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Joe, Lee's just giving you the best idea ever. <laughs> that is phenomenal. And I'll get out, stoned. Yeah, and then get Alex Jones in halfway through. <laughs> 